Hello parents, I hope you will take the time to watch this video through because I felt that it would be very difficult for me to type it all out and to express what I wanted to say. So please take the few minutes to watch this video. I just wanted to um, go over a couple things we talked about Sunday night at Life Teen. You know, the buzzword for Lent is what are you going to give up? And, and that, that word, that phrase, give up, is 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 really packed with a lot of huge things it, it has to do with lent and we talked about how fasting is a form of prayer it um it reaffirms who we are and who god is also um that it teaches us temperance which i'm going to put up a um a catechism paragraph on temperance which i think would be great for you to talk to your kids about at the dinner table um and it's also it's also penitential um so but I was talking to the kids about, and I put this on Facebook last week about what you know, what should we do for Lent? Should we play it safe or should we go big? And everyone's saying, "Get radical, do this, do that," and they started saying all these wild, crazy things. And some of them, I thought, "No way, I would never do that," just because it wouldn't be practical, um, like going shoeless in Michigan during the winter. Maybe you could, but I don't think I would try that one. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I, I thought like, okay, what, what about for me? What would be meaningful for me? And what I'm about to tell you, keep in mind, there's other things I'm doing in my own um, Lenten fast. This is just one thing. But I wanted to do something that would help your teens um, to embrace Lent um, and, and be a reminder to them not just to play it safe. I feel like sometimes in our Christian walk, we like to play it safe. We have a threshold. Uh, whether that's um, what, what we'll do at church, um, our daily prayer time, um, when it comes to Lent, what our fast is going to be. So sometimes we pick something that's like right about here. Like So if I were to pick candy, it would be way down below my threshold because candy's not a huge temptation to me. Maybe that's at your threshold. Maybe that puts you over the threshold. But we just discussed um, Sunday night like going beyond that threshold. And I told them one thing that I hate is when my hair grows out. And as you can see, I have a happy trail of baldness growing to the back. And so when I grow my hair out, what happens is when it grows out, this part here doesn't grow that well. This part does, so I start to look like Bozo. Um, this part starts to poof out. And so I told the teens what I'm willing to do for 46 days, because two weeks is usually my threshold, and then I have to get it off my head. I like to look clean, and um, I like to have it just buzzed off. Um, I told them that for 46 days, I would be their visible reminder not to play it safe. And, and I would grow my hair out, but not just on my head, but on my face as well. So as they saw me coming along, they would be reminded of what we talked about. And when I said that, two other guys on the core team are going to join me in that venture who are also balding and like to shave their heads. And you can probably figure out who they are. Um, and so then we got talking, the core team got talking, well, what can we do? And we all agreed, the core, the core team all agreed um, that we were not big rosary prayer, uh, prayers, prayers. We don't pray the rosary a lot. Um, and uh, not that we don't love the rosary, not that we don't love Our Lady, but we just don't pray the rosary and it's difficult for us. And I said, well, what if we prayed the rosary every single day for an individual team in the program? And we'll have, of course, we'll have to double up. So we'll take all the teens who come, those who've registered, those who are on the bubble who come by sometimes, and make sure they're all on a list, and we pray for, the, pray for these kids daily. And I said, okay, do we do it like this? Do I do first day, you do the second day, you do the third day? And they said, no. The core team all prays it every single day. So right there was another time where I went, Whoa, that's going to throw me above the threshold for 46 days to get the rosary in is going to be hard for me. But um, we're do the purpose of that is then we will let that kid know that we're praying for them. Maybe send them a Facebook message and say, we want you to know today is your day. The core team is praying for you. Who wants to join us in praying for Mike? And, and uh, so everyone else might get on there. They don't have to pray the rosary, but they might get on and say, hey, dude, I'm praying for you too, man. Have an awesome day. And all of a sudden, the awareness of who we are as Christians um, what we're all about, not playing it safe, all these things um, just keep grow keeps growing and growing and gaining momentum. And I think, I think it will make your teens' Lent more meaningful. And, and maybe even as you're hearing this right now, you're thinking, oh man, you're totally speaking to me because I always play it safe. So maybe your Lent will be more meaningful when you see 
old fuzzy face and fuzzy head coming along and you look and look, why is Chris not looking so sharp as usual? Be like, oh yeah, that's right, he's doing that for Lent. And you'll be, um, you'll be encouraged to, to not play it safe yourself. So um, with that, I just want you to read through the rest of the email to make sure you know um, what's coming up on our schedule. Um, to tap in, I can tell you the main ones are the ski tree trip this weekend. The mystery retreat at the end of March is a huge one. Look into that. That is going to be, um, I wrote in the email, it's, it's going to be historic. Um, we're going to go to a historic, spiritually and physically historic places, guaranteed. And then the third, third and fourth thing <laughs> would be um, the mission trip. We're taking sign-ups for that and um, the high school shine in the summer. So I want to thank Beth for filming me today. And uh, everybody have an awesome Lent as we kick it off tomorrow. God bless you.